Hey, Nico. Um, understanding this was the second game of a back-to-back -back and the energy might be different. Why do you think the competition level was so different versus how you guys played versus the Jazz versus how you played tonight? Um, like you said, back-to-back, -back, um, low on energy. Um, I partially take the blame for some of that just because second unit as a, as a point guard, that's got to be one of the main things I bring. Um, I think I could do a better job of that. So that's what I'm going to keep in mind and um, work on that moving forward. Why do you think the Lakers were so fruitful in the paint tonight? Um, I just think we were a step late on, on rotations, you know, having our, our low man. Um, and then the weak side dropping behind that, I think we were just a step late with everything. And um, they also shot the ball well, I think. So um, it's tough to to guard the three-point line and still be uh, quick in our rotations. So, But we're good enough to do it um, defensively. I definitely think we're good enough, so that's something we just have to lock in on. As that second unit uh, continues to gel, what are some specific areas where you guys are trying to improve? Um, really just chemistry, getting to know – how each other play, um, and the only way you could do that do that is through experience. So, really, just the more we play together, I think the better we'll get. Nico Marquez from Clutch Points, um, you got matched up with LeBron a couple times on defense uh, and did a pretty good job against him. Uh, what was going through your head, you know, defending him? Um, tried not to let the moment be too big, just. You know, defend like you're guarding anybody else, honestly. I mean, he's one of the, the best players ever. Um, but you can't be can't be a fan when you're on the court, I'd say. But it was it was definitely a cool moment. Um, like I said, one of the best players ever and being able to be on the floor, um, even guarding him is, is special for me. Also, Nico, um, happy belated birthday. But Thank you. You, you you share a birthday with Steph Curry. Uh, you grew up going to Steph's camps and things like that. How cool is it to, to go from there to now playing on the same team with him? Yeah, um, storybook. I mean, I think a lot of the stuff from my point of view this year has been storybook, movie-like, I'd say. But um, I found that out about three years ago, I'd say. Um, right, I think right before I went to his camp. Um and then his mom played pro volleyball, I think, and his dad played pro basketball, just like my parents. So it's uh, it's a little strange, but to be here, regardless of all of that, just being, you know, a backup to Steph and being able to be around him every day, watching him, learning from him, um, it's it's a blessing, honestly, because in my opinion, he's the best, um, one of the best, one of the best, if not the best point guards to, to play. So being able to learn from him, um, be around him every day and just – soak up as much knowledge as possible is, is a blessing. Nico, uh, uh, earlier you said, you know, you take some of the blame for not playing with energy on the second unit. Um, those are important words for somebody who wants to be a floor general, somebody mm -hmm. who just turned 20. Um, and to come to the podium after a game like this, it, you know, it speaks. Did you volunteer to come to the podium? Did you feel like it was important to do this? Um, I mean, I was I was told to come here. If, whenever I have media, I'll show up. Um, but yeah, taking the blame, I I mean, I'm confident in who I am. I don't have any problem, you know, saying if I messed up or not, if I, if I made a mistake, and you know, I felt like I could be better. So there's, I don't think there's anything wrong in saying that.